Okay. Ladies and gentlemen and Cal fans, this is Coach Steve Mariucci who brought some of our great memories and years as Cal fans and 49ers yeah, fans. Go Bears, well. huh? Yeah, right. And now, one of my favorite announcers on the NFL Network. Coach Mariucci, I went all the way back to 96 talking to you off camera about how you taught the West Coast or Walsh offense. My question is, first of all, the enduring way of teaching, wide field, narrow vision, hitch steps. Why don't more NFL teams use that now, for example, well, uh, or do that? Sure they do. Sure okay. they do. There's, a, there's probably a dozen teams in the National Football League out of 32 that are West Coast teams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not the Niners right now. Right. Why is that, in your opinion? Because... There are different systems, okay? There's the run and shoot. Mm -hmm. There's the wishbone. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's the Houston Beer. Mm -hmm. There's uh, there's uh, the system that's a digit system uh, that you'll see the Mike Martzes and the Norv Turners use. It's different than the West Coast system. All the systems are good and productive if you have the right players. But it just it just so happens that the West Coast coaches are not necessarily at the Niners right now. Okay, they could very well be back at some point. You know, they've changed coordinators what four times now in the last four years. But uh, the West Coast is alive and well in the National Football League and in college. Um, the, and then and then the other teams utilize the principles, many of the principles that Bill Walsh taught us all about the West Coast system. And when you talk to Bill, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, God rest his soul, yeah, right. he, will, yes. he will credit Don Coriel, mm -hmm. uh, Paul Brown, mm -hmm. uh, you know, other other people who, who started him in that system. Now, he, Bill Walsh made it win Super Bowls. Right. That's right. why he gets credit. He made it win. Yeah. Something he said to me when I had the pleasure of interviewing him some time ago was that people, some people, and certainly not you because you taught me a lot of fundamentals when I met you at Cal. And I'm, I'm serious about that because I obviously never forgot it. But he said to me that many people focus on formations, but not the techniques like the hitch steps and throwing without a hitch step. Why is that? Is, well, is it not? The game, games and any sport mm -hmm. evolves, okay? And right now, and it evolves for certain reasons because of the availability of certain types of athletes or maybe rule changes, yes. that's, that's the one area that has made football, not just in the NFL, but in college, more pass happy, okay? Because linemen can use their hands, because receivers can run free after they get off a jam. Nobody can touch them anymore. The rules are very conducive for players to be productive in the passing game. So consequently, you're gonna throw the ball more often. When Bill Walsh was with his Niners, he was in a two wide receiver set, one tight end, two backs, most of the time. Even in a two minute drill, they were in a, in, in a normal, uh, regular pro formation personnel group a lot of the time. He went to th some three wides, seldom four wides. Well, now that's more prevalent. More three wides and four wides are the, are the base offenses for some, for some teams, okay? Yeah, Why? Well, because of the half half. Well, formations with zebra in the middle. Zebra's three right. wide receivers. Yeah. You bet. Mm -hmm. Eagle is four wides. Mm -hmm. And a lot of colleges use that. We're talking spread offense. We're talking uh, some option with these athletic mm -hmm. quarterbacks. So the game's evolved a little bit. If Bill Walsh were in the game today, he would be altering his West Coast offense that way, too. Uh, and and, and continue. the principles would be the same. What he taught the fundamentals of every route and every position and the mm -hmm. reasons for mm -hmm. doing things. He was a genius that way. But um, but I think coaches have have updated and expanded their thinking because of the rule changes. Now you're gonna Mike Holmgren's offense is gonna be a little different than John Gruden's or mine or Andy Reid's or you know, all these West Coast guys. Why? Well because of the ability of your quarterback. What does he do best? Mm -hmm. What can't he do? You know, you can't expect every quarterback to do what Steve Young did. You know, um, how many receivers do we have on my team that are capable? If I don't have a third or fourth wide receiver, well, I'm not going to use that formation as often. You know, I have a great tailback. You know, so your personnel will dictate. You know, where you go in that West Coast, but the scheme and the philosophies. And keep in mind this: the West Coast offense. We talk about an offense, yeah. but it, these guys are West Coast guys, not because they were born. In California, no. Mm -hmm. It's a philosophy. 
It's a culture. It's how you practice. Mm -hmm. It's how you have training camp. It's how you travel. It's how you conduct your meetings. It's your walkthroughs and your padded practices and your shorts practices. That is probably as important or, or more important than just running two jet flank or drive. It's how you approach the whole thing and the philosophy that was proven successful over time. Coach Mario Chili, we can find you on the NFL Network as well as NFL.com. And thank you for your time. You're a legend. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.